checking things out for herself now. Who is there? Who is there? Hey, you guys, yeah, toys, comics, everything they have. It. I will get to that in a second. I got to keep you in suspense, but I wanted to show you all the different vendors that are out here today at the first ever comic and toy con out here in Rockland. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on. I'm naturally all the comics and toys and stuff, but if you look around this way, we even have stuff for cats here at Sassy Static. Look at that. We did a segment with them a little while ago. They make these cubes custom made, especially look at them scatter. They always scatter when we come and running, but that's okay. I also wanted to mention if you get hungry there are uh, these uh, cupcakes especially made for this event aren't they adorable there's one I'll give you a hint for who we're gonna talk to in just a second that one it's a stormtrooper just a hint just think about it think about who's here before you get to that special guest I want to talk with uh, mr. Harry right here because he was one that helped coordinate all this why did you think Rockland needed this everybody needs this Rockland everybody I mean it's a fun thing to do it is. What can people expect if they come out here today? They can expect to find new toys, vintage toys, toys from their past. Just come out and have fun and make memories. I love it. And you can make memories or uh, maybe relive some of your favorite ones from a very, uh, very, you know, actually no big deal. Just a series called Star Wars. We have Mr. Nelson here. Now, in case you're wondering what he's done, he's done a lot. He's done graphics. He's been in all of these shows. You can see it right here, Jurassic Park, uh, visual effects, especially right. what we're right. talking about. But the one role you might remember him as is Mr. Darth Vader. Can you tell us how that role happened? I thought the story behind this was so funny. Well, I like to tell people that I was at the right place at the right time at the right height. Um, I had been working for uh, Lucasfilm and LucasArts uh, for se several years, but I was sitting at my desk one day my, uh, doing my job, and suddenly my phone rings. And it's the head of public relations, and she doesn't even say hello. She just says, hey, Andrew, how tall are you? I said, I'm, uh -huh. I'm six foot five. Why do you ask? I thought she just wanted something down off a shelf because she was like five foot one. Um, and then she says to me, do you have any acting experience? I said, yeah. At that point, I'd had about like 20 years of film and theater and TV, and I told her that. And then she says, can you breathe for me? I was like, Do you so need I your breath for us? So I, yeah, so I leaned into the phone, and I went, <laughs> <laughs> like that, and I go, all right, so what's going on? So I wanted somebody to play Vader for a charity event, Big Brothers, Big uh, Sisters of America. Uh -huh. So I tried on the costume at Fit. We did that one event, and I thought, wow, that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. That's never going to happen again. I just thank God I had a chance to do it. But then they called me back for something else, and they called me back for the, the movies, they called me back for the games and things like that, and I eventually ended up playing Vader 70 times over 12 years. Amazing. Wow. What a cool story. I had no idea. I know, right? Cody loves it. I, and he was the one that was telling you. Did you want to say hi to him for us? Yes. Cody, I'm sorry you're not here right now. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. That's a big shame. You know? I know, it is but I know the force is strong with you. It is. <laughs> it is. And before we go, I want to mention... Uh, you are here. We're talking about why you're on the circuit, and you actually right. do a lot of work with the charity. Yes, I, I help raise money for the Starlight Children's Foundation, mm -hmm. which is just a wonderful organization. You can find them at starlight.org. Uh, they help families that have children that are either sick or injured. They do a lot to help the family, support the family as they're going through whatever treatment that they're going through. And they're one of those, those organizations, like I have kids, and I think, you know, I hope I never have to use their services, but I thank God they're there. So. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And speaking of charities, before we go, Harry, if you guys come on down to the Comic and Toy Con, the, some of the proceeds also go to a special charity, right? Before yes. we go, mention. Um, Sacramento Children's Home. Yes. So part portion of the proceeds. If you need an excuse, I think that's a really good one already, too. It's a great place to come and shop for the Comic Con nerd in your life or the father of one. Uh, Steve here already told me that I have to buy his little man a gift, so it is done. <laughs> We're having a cosplay contest. Yes, cosplay Ooh. contest. Yes, so come on down. The bring the kids, you guys. On that note, we'll send it back to you. It's their first one, but looks like they're already in business. They yeah. know what they're doing.